Alright, welcome to part one in a mini three versus series. Who will win, an overconfident wannabe FPV drone pilot, or mother nature in the form of two foot tall grass? So I had my drone up at my grandparents' place in West Virginia at like 5.30 in the morning, hoping to get a cool sunrise, cool clouds, that sort of thing. And my grandma, who gets up at like 4.30 or something for whatever reason, suggested that I check out this cool little pasture pond that had steam rising from it. Because evaporation or condensation or, or something like that, I learned about it in science this year. But, sloppy study habits aside, the FPV footage was going alright, I guess. Like, I'm very clearly not used to flying with the gimbal in this setting, and in my opinion, the footage was moving way too fast for the effect I was trying to capture. Anyways, basically what happened with the upcoming incident was that after I circled this pond here, I cooked it out over this field with my gimbal pointing downwards at like negative 30 degrees, and... Yeah, I think Mother Nature takes that point. Actually though, I was extremely impressed with how little of a hassle it was to find the drone. Like, the Find My Drone feature that DJI has is extremely useful and precise, even though I was, you know, pretty sure I was never gonna have to use it. Uh, the biggest issue in the recovery was trying to get over all these barbed wire fences, which I have very little experience maneuvering. But, you know, we got out there, we got the drone, we got back, um, there was no damage that I could see on the drone. The gimbal was overloaded, obviously, because it had been sitting in grass for so long, but that was easily recalibrated. Overall, barely a scratch, you know, wipe it off, it's fine. I'm impressed DJI, you know, that thing took a hard fall and, and barely even flinched. Seriously though, check this out. So I'm like, you can see I'm just, you know, coming around the pond doing my thing and I get to here and I'm actually you know it was a crash it was a crash I admit but I'm pretty happy with my reflexes right in here look at this come up and just now come on dance under the tree right there miss that thing by inches and if I would have been able to pull up I might have had I might have had a sick video where I survived there but no no sick video to survive Unfortunate, but it could be worse, right? I mean, I could have hit a telephone line and fallen onto a highway, you know, four-lane highway with cars all over it that crushed the drone to pieces. That could have, that could have been bad.